when we think about black philanthropy, we're talking about all the ways in which people of African descent give, wherever they may be across the diaspora. Um, and African-American philanthropy is a particular expression of that. So the ways in which African-Americans give of themselves to support each other, to address issues related to a community, and also to press for liberation. And so one of the things that characterizes it is a focus on, on family, on community, uh, kind of giving inward and then letting that ripple outward. Um, there's a, faith is an important role in African-American philanthropy and uh, the roles, the historic roles that the black church has played and, and also other black re religious traditions in challenging people to give, showing people how to give and, and giving them ways of practicing that. Um, and so it's a big tradition that involves, you know, again, responding to needs on the ground every day in the community, but also dealing with the larger issues related to social justice um, and change for, for everyone. I wanted to investigate this history of African-American philanthropy more closely. Um, she's a very well-known figure for her achievements in beauty culture and for being called what has been called the first self-made female millionaire. Um, but I really wanted to know about the ways in which she engaged in philanthropic giving because it was talked about but wasn't deeply investigated. And what I discovered was that in the process of kind of following and pursuing her story, it opened up an, a window into the broader culture and history of giving by and for African-American. Americans. And so really it started with a curiosity about her and what she was doing as an important historical figure and then it blossomed out and provided many more insights into long-standing practices that even though she lived a hundred years ago you can still see these things showing up every day in the community again from churches to sororities to giving circles like NGAP and others um, the kinds of supporters who will fund the Harvey Gantt Center um, this type of giving has always been around and it's been a vital and important part of community life so I wanted to tell that story. The Gantt Center is a powerful representation of this legacy because of the way it upholds history and culture and art. Um, you know, historically, African Americans have not only given or been involved philanthropically for issues like education and, and health and social services, but also for the arts. There's a rich tradition of African American art that's been a very important part of our experience and also for the struggle for, for liberation. And so black artists have always kind of painted or, or, or sculpted or represented us in their productions. And so the Gantt Center, by supporting artists, you know, helps to keep that alive and by providing space for people to come together to talk about leading issues of the day in Charlotte, across the state, or across the country is very important. It's also an important site for mobilization um, and the work that was done during the pandemic to meet the needs of the community. So I think I see the Gantt Center as a very powerful representation and contemporary expression of this long, rich, deep history. It's essential that they exist because, again, it's a part, an important part of our history. Um, it's an important part of, of the ways in which we can imagine new worlds, we can imagine a just world. Um, artists give, give voice and give vision and give sound and, and expression to our deepest yearnings as human beings. And so the ways in which Gantt nurtures that is important. Um, and so it's important for black arts institutions to be recognized and be fully supported. They're underfunded, they have a long history of being neglected or ignored. So it's important that they gain the support they need, again, to keep these voices alive, to keep this expression alive. And again, as in keeping with most black organizations, they don't just do one thing. They'll do many things. They are responding to local needs here on the ground in Charlotte, which is an extension of that, that same mission of this artistic expression and emphasizing and amplifying the culture.